Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech 128 and in this video we're going to be checking out PhotoJet Designer. This is a pretty cool app that allows you to make um, a bunch of different artwork for anything on the internet. So we have a ton of really cool templates right here like Facebook cover, YouTube channel art, Facebook post, Instagram post. We have social media headers. We got a YouTube thumbnail which I use all the time. And we even have stuff like magazine covers, cards, invitations. And it's just a really great app for creating artwork. So let's see how this works. Let's go ahead and make a thumbnail for this video. So we'll go down to YouTube thumbnail and you can see it's 1280 by 720, which is the size a thumbnail should be. So it already knows that we even have our YouTube channel art 2560 by 1440. If I had this back when I made the channel art, this would have been a lot easier. Let's do YouTube thumbnail. And if you choose one of the templates, it'll give you a ton of different options to start. If you go from the very beginning, you don't get these template options if you pick your own size. But if we do go for something like this YouTube thumbnail right here, we get tons of different ones right here. We can even narrow it down by category, and there's a lot of categories there. So. Let's look at maybe tutorial. And let's see, we'll try this one right here. Now that we got our template, we can go ahead and click on something. We can do our font right here, color, size, different properties, and even a couple of text effects. We can double click on that and we can just say PhotoJet Designer Review. And then there we go. Now we have a really cool looking effect. We can even change pretty much everything in here. If we go to photos, we can pick from the four that they give you. We can get some from Facebook, even search them on the internet, or we can add them from our computer. So if we have an icon or something, image we want to add, we can do that. If you're making it from scratch, you can choose your own text and add your own text. And you can see all the different fonts they have. My favorite feature is the clip art section. And I think that's really awesome for something like a social media banner. We have Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. So like you can see right there, we just got a clip art of the Snapchat icon. And that's something that's really useful if you want to be making like a YouTube header or Twitter, like also follow me on here. That's pretty awesome. I love that feature. We have office icons and a bunch of other stuff. And then we got other categories. Got funny, shapes, love, nature's travel. And if you don't even like the ones they give you, you can search for your own right here. So if I just say smartphone, and then look, we have smartphone clip arts. And we can just add that right there. And then boom, it's in super easy to use. And like everything else, we got different effects and properties. And like Photoshop, we can send it to a back or forward in front of or behind that sort of stuff. For background, we can go ahead and choose a solid color or a pattern. And that's really nice to put your own style on it. And these are really not necessary because if you pick a template, it'll work really simply and give you a really nice background to start off with. So I want to go ahead and leave here. I am done with this. I'll just say, do you want to continue? Yes. I'm going to create a custom size right here. And we're going to be making a movie poster for Amazon. We can see right here that our key art, which is going to show up in the search results for Amazon is 1,200 by 1,600. So I do 1,200 by 1,600 and I click apply. Now we can go ahead and start with our background. Maybe we will go ahead and just do this cube thing. This is going to be a movie poster for our new movie that we're making. Let's go ahead and add a photo. And then I'm going to go into here, maybe pull up my 30 frames productions logo, just like that it drops right in. And then let's search the web. We're just going to say dark web. Okay, so we can search for our images. It'll take me a while to figure that out. 
But now we got some text we need to add. We can add one that looks like a Snickers logo, or we can get something computer like that. And we will just say Underworld Web, which is the name of our movie. We can go ahead and make the font size bigger. Can stretch that out, move it around, can enlarge it that way as well. And it automatically snaps to center so everything lines up and looks really good. We got some shapes we can add lines like that. So we can go ahead and just you know divide everything out. And one thing I really like is the embellishment. And we can do something like a um, bubble maybe. So like a text bubble, which is kind of cool. Or maybe a clip. We can like pin something to here. I think that looks pretty sweet as well. And um, just with all their clip arts, I really like the clip art feature. So as you can see, you get a ton of different ways to create your own design. I love the ability to use their templates, especially for things like your social media headers, Instagram posts, and YouTube thumbnails. And you can even make your own completely from scratch. They have a ton of different fonts and styles, backgrounds, and especially the clip art. You can really customize this however you want and make this a really awesome picture. And with all the templates and everything, you should have no issue finding what you want and creating something amazing. If you like this app, I'll drop a link to it down below where you can go ahead and check it out for the Mac. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and I will see you in the next one.